So Jordan, one of the things that you talk about in the book, which is I think really wonderful, and, and I hadn't heard you talk about it a lot before, you've done it in some of your lectures, but it hasn't been the main theme, is sort of the relationship question. You know, how do you maintain romance in your relationship? And as a dude who's been married for almost 13 years at this point, uh, I can say that you know it, it is very, very good advice. I mean, the amount of work that has to go into a relationship to keep a relationship functioning at a high level is tremendous. And that's not what you are sold in the media. What you're sold in the media is number one, the happily ever after wedding ending. But even that is now hackneyed. Now the idea is that there is no happily ever after, that basically you're a fool if you get married and that true happiness lies in changing partners on a, on a fairly routine basis. But that's not the case that you make at all. You make the case that happiness is going to lie and fulfillment, more importantly, is going to lie in the hard work of, of putting romance into your relationship. And, and people, I think, when they get into this thing, they don't know how much work it is to even do the sort of thing where you plan, you have to plan romance into your life, particularly after you have kids. It's a reality. It's a pleasure. It's a rough pleasure, but... Thank you for tuning in to the Editor Ludens. 